Governor, can you tell us what the importance is for tort reform amongst the states? Well, tort reform in a state that has lawsuit abuse that's significant is incredibly important. It's important to economic development because lawsuit abuse depresses job creation. It makes economic development harder. Uh, and businesses that are thinking about expanding or locating a new facility, lawsuit abuse makes a big difference. Same thing goes for companies that may have to uh, close a plant. Uh, places that have bad lawsuit abuse uh, are not likely to keep their plants. The other side, of course, is that lawsuit abuse causes, or at least in my state, caused a health care crisis. And passing tort reform was necessary to end that health care crisis, but it did end it and all the difference in the world today. And Governor, from a state perspective, how would you reform the health care system? Well, one thing that would be helpful is if we could sell health insurance across state lines. Uh, a lot of states have very high standard benefits package, makes their insurance very, very expensive, particularly when you have community rating for young, that young people find these policies just outrageously expensive and try to get by without it. Uh, health insurance is also critical for small businesses. Uh, the biggest group of people who don't have health insurance in Mississippi are the employees of small businesses. It's because the business can't afford it. We need to be trying to get the cost down, yet what the administration is talking about doing in Congress is making the insurance benefits packages so, so rich that it's going to make health insurance more expensive. Uh, our senior citizens need to be protected in Medicare, and particularly the nearly one-fourth of senior citizens, about 11 million, who are on Medicare but have chosen to get their Medicare through the Medicare Advantage program. The administration is clearly trying to do away with Medicare Advantage, which means that about a fourth of seniors who have that chose it and must like it because they chose it voluntarily will lose what they have. And finally, uh, much of the effort is focused in health care reform and these bills in Congress on expanding Medicaid as a way to give more people health insurance coverage. Um, it, uh, Mississippians and the people of most states simply can't afford to increase what we're paying for Medicaid. Medicaid is the second biggest item in most states' budgets. So if we get an unfunded mandate from the federal government to expand Medicaid because they want to have universal health care, the federal government needs to pay for it. If we have that unfunded mandate, states can't afford it, and the only alternative for states will be to raise taxes. That means my citizens in Mississippi are going to get stuck with all these federal taxes in the name of health reform and then turn around and get stuck with another $80 million or so of new state taxes.